showed us how s one of the things that you showed us was how small difficulties or obstacles they are s they are such a blessing for us but the habits that we have is so spoiled that we take those small difficulties and become kind of frustrated with them how do i train myself to take those difficulties and learn and to find the the good in them that are less ending rather than <coughs> rather than being angered or frustrated or be impatient with them I don't know. <laughs> what do you think? Do you know the answer to your question? How you can uh, take these small difficulties and not, uh, not have a fit? How do you uh, not have a fit when there are small difficulties? That means that you think you have the right to have a fit when there are small difficulties. Have as much fit as you want. Go ahead. As much fit as you want, have it. Next time small difficulty comes, like someone uh, took your slippers home, go berserk. Okay? As much a cow you want to become, like this, you don't have a cow, right? Take much cow you want. Then see what's going to happen. Next time something else small happens, then go berserk again. And again, and again, and again. Okay? Then when you're tired and you come to the limit and there is no longer that much fun for you, you no longer have the privilege uh, you're all very privileged and very spoiled anyway that uh, these small things you take advantage of it to prove your own existence and your own importance when you're tired then come and ask me the question again yeah because you think you're so important that's why so important so proud proud pride it's a little bit you blow up, blow, 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 like a balloon, Chef, and he says. I like his everything, but he's saying balloon. So nice. He breaks every rule in the English language. Very good. Even the language becomes alive when he speaks. And then through one needle hole, you blow up. Then blow up again. Blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up. We keep punching you until you decide, okay, now I'm not going to blow up. Like, a, how he say? Like a Worcester. Like a rooster, like this. Then you have some behavior of uh, patience to say, okay, that's okay. It's a small matter. That's okay. I can do this. And that time you go forward. If still these small things are going to set you off, then how are they going to trust you with something else? Huh? Oh. But do as much as you want. And when you're tired, you'll come back around too. Why do you think you're right all the time? People don't think, especially in this country, spoiled people. Wrong things that happens to you, maybe you deserve it. Maybe it's a punishment for all the wrong things you've done. But no, any wrong thing that happens, how this can be? You do it to me? Me? You do? Who you think you are? This is the attitude here. This capitalist system and this individualism that is making, pulling out the worst of every race, every nationality, they are very good points and very bad points. But this system pulls out the worst. So, Bosnians becomes the worst Bosnian. 
Pakistani become the worst Pakistani, Egyptian become the worst, Turkish becomes the worst, everyone, Malaysian, become, uh, equal opportunity, whatever you want to say, becomes the worst because, me? How dare you do this? But what makes a person humble? Not just showing like this, sitting down like this. This is not humble. Humble is when people smack you with what? Smack you on one cheek. Right? Say, what can I do? You offer the other one, just like the advice of Isa, alayhi salam, like a dervish. You swallow, you swallow, you swallow. If it's not your situation, not your authority to teach, you don't teach. Even then, who says you have to teach with anger? I'm saying before, oh, maybe one day I'm going to take a break, just take care of the sheep, like I used to, grow some vegetables and mm, cook in the kitchen. Simple. But our lives are not simple now. You cannot be naive. So what is this proudness? Only proud people are going to take small things and make a big deal about it. So you're very proud. Go ahead, do it until your nose smash into your head. And then do it again. See whether you like it or not. Cannot be. You are simple that time. So many people, oh yeah. I was saying to some people before, uh, it's like, I still consider myself a hoja. That's what Sheriff and he calls me, although the title is also high. Maybe he was, uh, whatever it is, I'm not saying I'm this or that. But at that time, yes, I have to be nice and easy. That's my own natural way. But now that I have to teach, now it's different. They don't like it when I have to teach. But is it for you? Especially when we say, don't teach it. When we say, tell you, don't teach it like that. So when you feel it, like boiling inside of you, when you feel that your honor, your sense of honor, and your akida has been attacked because somebody took your slippers by mistake, Smack yourself on the face really hard. And then tell yourself, who the hell am I to think I'm so important? Do you understand? Cannot be proud. Small things, they're small. Shaivan is teaching us, like they're saying, what? Make big things to become small and small things to disappear. But what are you busy with? You're busy with making yourself to blow up, to become so important. But you're not looking at all these small things that's poking you here and there. Maybe it's a zakat for your happiness. Can you control it? You turn it on, you turn it off, you cannot. Then you don't have a right to. Where you can control it, that's another, that's another story. Where you can control it, you're going to use it for our work anyway, not for yours. Huh?